being a cool weirdo is you grew up eating soul food, right? You grew up eating soul food. But as you grow up, you realize that's the worst food for your health. And as black culture, we clown white people for not putting certain condiments like salt, heavy salt and sugar in their food. But who has the highest rate of heart disease and dying from heart disease? african American. So you clowning them for not putting salt in their food and sugar and whatever to make it just taste better. They live longer. So a cool weirdo is literally coming from soul food or graduating to being a vegetarian and plant-based or vegan, whatever it is, and focusing on your health. Like, it's not cool to focus on death. You pouring, man, I remember growing up, I'm pouring a whole sugar packet in my Kool-Aid. Now, what? So I come from pouring sugar, a whole, a half a, half a pack of sugar, half a big pack of sugar in my Kool-Aid. So now, starting my days with the smoothie every day. That's different types of sugar. You can't compare the fruit sugar. <laughs> <laughs> to the processed sugar. Please don't even start that conversation. So yeah, man, that, that's what being a cool weirdo is, is having knowledge of both sides of life. That's what it is. And the crazy thing about like making fun of white people for their bland food and not putting salt in it, when a black person dies from heart disease, the repass, after the funeral, the repass, you serving the same food that this person died, that made this person die. If that ain't being in the matrix, and not understanding what's going on in life, I don't know what is. That's That might be the most diabolical thing ever. You serving what killed this person. This fried food, soul food. You serving soul food killed that man. So it's time to survive the soul food and eat spiritual food because that soul food ain't even good for your soul. It deteriorates your soul. It gives you rhythm. It's a part of giving you rhythm in black culture, but nah. Eating soul food is trauma eating. It's survival food that was created by enslaved African Americans who made meals out of the minimal ingredients they had. Smart and gifted enough to make something out of nothing. It's an epigenetic connection with eating the foods from slavery, eating the leftovers that the slave masters left behind. Now is the time to stop eating out of survival and focus on foods full of electrolytes because we are electromagnetic beings.